It's time to build robots to serve the needs of squishy, hapless humans in the world of tomorrow. Snap together an expansive variety of parts to bring the automatons of your dreams to life, to solve puzzles and accomplish tasks. Hook up controls, customize how your machines move and operate, then of course you can decorate and design to your heart's content. Today we have been sponsored by Filament Games to become a robotics engineer working at the highly renowned Roboco. Will we create with finesse or will our constructs be absolute monstrosities that flail around in a dismembered mess while crawling their way across the finish line? You'll just have to watch and find out. <laughs> In all honesty, the main thing that attracted me to this project is the company behind it. Filament Games are a group of people who have been working on gamifying education and life skills. This is actually what I specialized in when I was a teacher. Back then, gamification was a pretty new idea, and things were rough when it came to execution. But when I was teaching, I always kept in mind the games that really taught me things. Caesar 3 and Age of Empires stoked my interest in history. Simpark and Biosys made me care about the environment. And I picked up programming surprisingly easily, probably because of all the system building I did in city builders and simulation games like SimCity. Not to mention, Roboco reminds me of one of my favorite childhood games, Star Wars Droidworks. That was a game where you built custom robots to solve puzzles and navigate environments. I wish I could get that working again, but I'm pretty sure Disney would copyright strike that video into oblivion. Inventors and roboticists, welcome to Roboco, where we will build probably absolute monstrosities in an attempt to just handle simple tasks. I am today's roboticist, and if you think you can do a better job, Go get the game yourself. Wink, wink. Ah, uh, options menu. There are music, sound, volume levels. That's very good. Video options. Very nice. Uh, borderless window. The three modes there. V-Sync on off. Every other refresh. Great. Frame rate limit. Currently fixed. 240. Should be enough. Quality is set to high. I've set everything to maximum. It's not a visually taxing game, but... You know, uh, language options. We have a few. Those are the ones available. If you can see the one you want. Uh, tutorial. I've done the tutorial because I've spent some hours playing this game. Uh, rebindable keys. Yes. Always nice to see. Now, let's. There is a sandbox mode where you can build whatever robot you want. But let's go to the campaign where I've been messing around with a few things, and I want to show you. Um, what not to do first, and then what to do, <laughs> right? So the first mission, right up here. What's nice is actually the, the Robo Repairs is the tutorial. These pink ones are the tutorials, and there's like six tutorials here, six tutorials there, and that sort of teaches you how to go through this entire campaign, the Roboco campaign. And you unlock different sections by getting these points, right? F doing the tutorials gets you Six points there, which unlocks here. Another six points there. So that's 12 by itself. Now to get down to here, we need like the final make a robot dance, I guess, is 55 bits. That's like a lot. Um, so I actually like how it implies that you should just try build a robot first. And then if you can't do it, maybe do the tutorial. Because this game is all about experimentation and messing around. There's no right answer. There are answers that work. And that's about it. So sandwich server. This is the first challenge, right? Deliver a sandwich to guest at table six. There's sub objectives without touching the table and delivering it upright on a plate. You can see I've not managed to do that. But I want to show you what not to do first, because I think that's pretty interesting. You can do a lot of terrible designs. <laughs> Sometimes nothing to do with the objective at all. You just kind of want to mess about and do things. <laughs> Which is what I've done the last time I was here. 
table six. Obviously, it's not a real restaurant. We're in a simulated environment. <laughs> okay. Um, what what do I have here? I've I've left a bunch of parts hanging about. What what do you? I I actually don't remember what I've left here. If I press spacebar, we can see what's running. <laughs> I have made this thing. Give me a sandwich. <laughs> this is what not to do. Okay, let's let's not do that. Let's not do that. Also, it is very loud. Let's let's lower the sound volume. <laughs> okay, that that's somewhat better. <laughs> so, um, that's not what uh, you could do that if you want. Let's not do that. Let's just not do that. Let, let's try and deliver a sandwich, okay? So we can get a block. You can resize blocks to all sorts of ways you want. You can basically build whatever you like here, right? So we can make a nice platform. We can give it wheels. There's some nice wheels on this side here. I'm not going to go through all the UI and stuff because that's this kind of stuff that you can just learn whenever, right? There are left and right wheels. So controls sort of auto map. Let's give them big wheels, right? That's the left side. Let's do this. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, we, of course, have to give it a head. That one. Yes, very excited to be here. Let's make it off center. It's a robot. It doesn't have to have a center head. Um, and then we can give it some moving parts. So, for example, we could give... Uh, you know what? Let's just raise this up and we could probably solve... Oh, no. Undo, undo. Is this connected? Nope. Was these ever connected to... Okay, that is connected. Okay. Just need to make this really tall. Right? I will get rid of that head. I'll attach these wheels like this. Like that. Okay, good. Because we we need to deliver the sandwich, right? So we can we can do a very simple solution. Is that correct? Are these wheels aligned? I think this one is not. There we go. So we just need to like catch the sandwich and dump it on there, right? Okay, we have a problem. We have a problem. <laughs> It's not quite working. Okay. Uh, let's get into the properties. Let's get into the properties. This. Target RPM. We can drop this down. So we could make this... Like... 40, I guess? Because the wheels are spinning too fast, so we're not stable. So... We can get into programming and stuff as well. Let's try that. Okay, that's more... It's more control. Okay. I've fallen over. No, we can't do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that doesn't quite work. Breaking time, acceleration time, max. Max torque is fixed, I think. Maybe if I increase acceleration time. I think I, I fell over when I tried reversing. Oh, I see. When I reverse... I fall over. That's a problem. That's a problem. We just need to make sure we can't fall over then, right? So if we don't want to fall over, we can just put like a large piston on the front and a large piston on the back. And I would just want to check for the pistons to make sure they oscillate. This way, if I fall over, 
Okay, hold on. We need more force. Let's make them super powerful. Let's see if this works. If I fall over... No, it's not strong enough. It's not strong enough. <laughs> what if? What if I just duplicate? Let's go to... Yeah. If I control... D, I can... Just make lots of these. Right? They don't have to be aligned. Oh, no. We could make them... Okay, if I do that, that should mean... That should give us enough force to... Let's not do that. No. No. I need to be on this, I think. Yeah, here we go. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, now we should... If we fall over, let's try fall over. Yes! <laughs> it works! <laughs> let's go catch a sandwich. Oh no. Too much stuff is going on. Okay, it's fine. We'll get the next sandwich. We can get 10 sandwiches here. It's fine. There's a little ramp here. It's throwing me off. Catch the sandwich. Okay, we caught the sandwich. Oh no! I lost the sandwich! It's okay, it's okay. It's fine, it's fine. Turning is really fast right now. It's probably to do with one of my settings. All the sandwiches are in the way. Catch the sandwich, catch the sandwich. I got a sandwich. I'm facing the wrong way. I can't fall over. That's good, right? from me no I'm just gonna punch this person out of the way go away please okay okay got the sandwich yep sorry sorry we just keep punching everyone I think my wheels are not aligned excuse me excuse me we just gotta get the sandwich onto that table get on the table I've built no no pushing mechanics for pushing the sandwich no okay I need to I need to <laughs> I need to have a catcher and a pusher on the top okay okay look th this th these oscillate I could I could put the pistons on manually but I'm not going to. Let let's build a catch catchment area, okay? Let's So what we need is to create like a little wall along there. Good. We need to lower the whole thing down so it fits, okay? There is a maximum size to things. So we're going to do that and then we do this catchment area, nice. Okay. I just need one here. Okay, we're gonna do that. Okay, good. So we got a catchment area. Now, I need a piston that is... Let's go to powered. Yeah, we can fit a big one there, right? Maybe a big one takes up too much space. Should be fine, should be fine. So we have... It's facing the wrong way. Nope, nope, hold on. It's gotta go onto that. Okay, good. Yes. That... Let me lower it down a bit. Okay. So then I need to have... the ability to push the sandwich out. So I will then go to basics and create a not that way a pushing paddle I guess can this go down to there I think so now this thing I want it not oscillating 
target velocity one. I think this is f uh, don't start on. I can set controls. So I can set a button for this thing to move out. And I have another button set to move in. And I think INK would allow me to... No. I've said it wrong. This one. Maybe toggle out. This one toggle in. Is it blocked by something? Oh, maybe because it's touching the base. We need to have it like that. Let's try that. There we go. I have a pusher, which I control. Right? Good. I think I'm way too heavy. <laughs> it's fine. Don't, don't question it. Don't question the oscillate. Look, the oscillating arms work. No, no, push the other way. Yes, yes. See, they work. Don't question them. They, they work fine. I just need to catch this sandwich. This person is in my way. Okay. I've caught a sandwich. Oh, I'm too tall to go. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's, it's... <laughs> the arm, the arms mashed. Oh, the pusher thing is too tall. Okay, fine. I'm too tall. This thing needs to be shorter. I think. That should work, right? Okay. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's slowly get over this ramp which keeps throwing us off. Okay. Okay, we caught the sandwich. Now we need to make our way over to the table. Avoid the humans. Try not to trash the place. We're getting... Nope. I am way too big for this job. And now my my correcting arms may be my downfall. I should put them on manual. <laughs> uh, so I should push the sandwich. I just have to time it, so... No! <laughs> Okay, I need to put these on manual. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe I should just not fall over, right? Maybe that makes sense. Let's just not fall over to the front. <laughs> the robot would be more stable if it was shorter. Yes. <laughs> that is not in question. Okay. So we just have back correcting. If we fall backwards, we can correct ourselves. Now we can go right up. Sorry for punching you. It's my bad. Okay. Okay. Oh, even the wheels are like... Just go right up to it and then push the sandwich. Did it! <laughs> this... This is our sandwich delivery robot tested. Ship it. It works. <laughs> uh, that machine, this robot, costs $27,000. Um, I'm sure you'll, you'll see this thing in every restaurant you go to soon. <laughs> Let's not name the robot. Let's just continue. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> now, I want to go through the tutorials to show you the the actual like the tutorials work so well in terms of teaching you this stuff, right? 
So if I go through these things, they're, they're very, very short, very simple things just to show you the basics, right? It's very hard to do that sandwich delivery thing without doing this section as well. So for example, center of mass, right? We suffered from this problem just now. It was, um, it was a challenge. We kept falling over. And instead of fixing our center of mass, we just got arms. So this is the problem we had just now. Right? So we have to fix the center of mass. Which means we just have to do this. Lower the center of mass and you get stability. Right? It teaches you the concept. <laughs> <laughs> Very useful. RPM. You know, I changed how fast our wheels spun just now. Learned it from here. So this robot... It's not fast enough to go against this conveyor belt. So, easy fix. We go to the properties. We make it the fastest it can be. Done, right? Good. Right? Nice, easy tutorials to show you how to fix these certain problems. Motor size and torque, right? So this one, it just, this, this one sort of explains a game mechanic more than anything else because the size of the motor implies the strength, right? So this robot cannot lift this much weight, right? So in this game, you can actually just increase the size of the motors and it counts as them being more powerful, right? Because they're bigger motors, right? It makes sense. Uh, flip motor direction. Wilkinson, welcome. Like, sometimes... Th this is gonna sort of show... Not so much a situation you encounter, it's, um... You've made a mistake. How do you identify the mistake? This is a problem because some of these are spinning the wrong way. I... think these need to be flipped like that. And it drives forward. There we go. Look at the... look at the scientists. So happy. <laughs> You like the fee success noise. <laughs> right? So that would be a very easy mistake to make. So there's a little bit of a tutorial in here just to say, oh, you know, that that could be something why it's not working. You know, then there's this one. So Trying to drive, there's a problem. We gotta fix that problem. I think these... Oh, this this is a transmitter problem. Where I think we want to... Yeah, so these two motors are not attached, uh, are not told to do anything. So you want them to spin forward like that. So now if I drive, we go forward. Very nice. We've got our bug bot here. And we make it to the end. Perfect. Right? So it's starting to show resizing pistons. It's starting to show mistakes you will make <laughs> when you're making your robots and how to fix them, right? 
So once you go through these six tutorials, delivering the sandwich becomes much easier. This robot has to press the I am not a robot button. But it can't reach. So all we have to do is extend the piston down to there. Easy. So once I did those, I figured out, oh, okay. That's how you deliver the sandwich. Now, let's have a look at this next mission, which I have tried before. You're supposed to break a piñata. But that gives us an excuse to break everything. It doesn't, but let's let's break everything. Let's build an absolute monstrosity. <laughs> let's build a destructo bot. Which may or may not destroy that piñata. This is a simulation of someone's birthday party. This is what I used before. <laughs> you can make it go real fast. <laughs> this allowed me to, to walk up to this thing and just pummel the piñata. But, uh, <laughs> tis a silly bot. Let's, let's clear that out. <laughs> we, we can make something even more destructive. So let's, uh, let's start with just a very small base here. Just a small cube so we have something to build on. Now, we can create... We do want to be able to get around, right? That sounds like something we should do. So let's let's create a, a little bit of a platform. And then let's give it um, wheels. Let's give it some actual ability to drive around. I think that's... Yeah, that works. We want the wheels over here. So this, this is going to be our... Let's make sure that works. Yep. We can get around. Now let's build... You know, these pistons are kind of my favorite thing. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Let's start with one of these. Now this one is going to be oscillating. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> now, on top of this, let's go ahead and put... Yeah, we'll stick to... Actually, no, we sh should we be... Uh, this should be a heavy block. Yeah, it's fine. So we'll create a little bit of a base here. Good. And then on this, we can have pistons going in all directions. Oh no, one's not attached. Okay. This one didn't click on. It's fine. Oh, we didn't set them to oscillating. We need to set them to oscillating. Uh, this thing. Make sure they oscillate. Oscillate. So these, these are going to be... distributing our damage. On this... Those wheels are hurting your OCD. Is it because they're hanging off the bottom? I'm pretty sure they're aligned, right? No, they're not. This one here. Nah. Does that, does that fix it? <laughs> okay, let's go back and we will create... the hard hitters. So I want to... Create this. Yeah, okay. Then I want to go here. We can do the small pistons. Uh, 
out to here. I think that works. All right, then we'll have one here. And have one here. Now these should be... How long are these? Let's make them five length. This one as well. And then I want these to be going real fast. So all of those are set to speed one. Let's try speed five. With like maximum force. Oh, forgot. I need to oscillate them. <laughs> I think it should go faster. Let's do speed 10. Yeah, okay. So speed 10 on maximum force. Speed 10 on maximum force. We've got the hitters. Now, I want to grab this, 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 this. And G groups them. And if I control D, I think I get a whole nother one. Okay, good. And now we can put these on all sides. Let's rotate this around. Uh, so we got one here. Uh, this way. This. Uh, you can mouse wheel this. There's, there's a lot of controls to help you adjust all of this. Oh, nope. Oh, I see that intersects there. So I have to offset this somewhat. Like that. Yes, perfect. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna get that. Control D. So I got another one. Let's rotate it around. And this should be back down here. Okay. So if I launch this. Yes, perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, this this works for me. <laughs> now, the problem is we can't seem to get into the party first. So, not sure. Is there any room here? If I take this, can I also add this onto the front? I might just have to not make it quite so intense everywhere. think that's correct. Oh, that goes down there. What does this attach to? Let's do that. I think, yeah, that doesn't intersect with anything. Yes! Now, it's just too much force. I've given every piston maximum force. Now, if I... This is grouped. If I drop the force there, I don't know if that's... Uh, how do I... Ungroup is U. Oh, if they're grouped and you change the setting, it changes the setting for all of them. That's perfect. So now I can do this, 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 this. Group. I'm not sure if that works. If I do this. If I just select all of those, I can ungroup. Oh, no, then I'll have to... Okay, undo. It's fine. I can just click, shift click these and lower the force. I need to lower the force to the point where I can actually drive. Or is this just too much? Let's lower the velocity. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> if we can just fly towards the party. Yes, there we go. Get wrecked. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, that's what you're not supposed to do, but you can do. Let's, if we slow this down. No, the, the stability is just out the window because it's too much. If I like really... Nope. That. If I maybe try create a more stable base. Does that work? That kind of helps. We just need a more stable base. Drive forward! Go forth. Go forth and destroy. <laughs> I solved it! I solved it! So, 
Now that we can actually drive, I think I can up the velocity. I can kind of drive. Get wrecked, get wrecked. Time to die. I knocked that guy into the, the dunk pit. <laughs> That that is uh that is um that is something you can do. Now let let's let's try let's try do a challenge I've not actually done before. I've not looked at this. I've only done those two challenges and then messed around in like the sandbox mode to create things. Let's let's try a challenge I'm unfamiliar with and try to actually solve it with the knowledge that we have. Ah. Clean up all the dust in the bedroom. Don't move any furniture too far. Don't wake up the sleeping human. Okay. We need to create a robo vacuum. We could probably do that, but I've never used a vacuum. Let's see. Let's let me try do this earnestly. All right. So. Oh, we got new cosmetics. Oh, you get things for, for doing that. So, okay, there is a... No, there's a vacuum somewhere here. There it is. So we definitely need a vacuum. So I assume this has to be pointed... I suppose it doesn't have to be pointed down, but we're going to point it down gonna face it that way so we have the vacuum and now I want to just drive around and suck up all the dust right let's do a heavy block I don't want to be too big right but then I do need hmm. Let's create this. It's not center. Let's... Yeah, okay, so we have a platform. So, yes, okay. Just sort of estimating the distances here. I assume if I put... I like these wheels here. That's way too big. We're... we're... So that's way too small. Actually, no, maybe the small wheels would make more sense, right? So if I go here and I create a little side down to there, and then I should be able to put like three wheels like this. Can this be center? It cannot be center. Maybe if I do four wheels. Right? If I grab all this, group, duplicate, take this, rotate it around. Attach this oh I see there's a you guys will live with that it's fine I don't know if I can can I shorten this by one guess that should that should be fine right that should be fine these wheels need to be swapped flip there we go yeah that works Now I assume this uh, this has to. Oh, we can just start on airflow direction, max power. This works, right? 
That's it. Oh, it's we're too low. The dust is like fat dust. Okay. We actually need to be higher. Um, okay, so if we we need to move this up somewhat. Now let's just do this. Uh, so we're gonna ungroup that, ungroup that, so I can take this and then raise this like two steps. And then oh, I can't turn. Just realized. I can't turn. That's a problem. Also, are we now? There's like things that are under very low things. So we can't just be like this. This is a good height, but how do I? How do I like get that? Hmm. Okay. Like we could put this thing on like a on an arm or something like that, right? That that could be interesting, but also difficult. I'm heuristic with my solutions. We just need to solve the solution. Oh, these Let's swap. Yeah, these wheels so basically there's two sections here, parts and constructs. Constructs are like pre-built things out of smaller parts. So you can see these wheels are built out of three parts. Let's um let's try go back to No no no, not like that. Like this. Let's go to bigger wheels. but only two, and this might allow us to turn. That was way too fast, I forgot about that. Let's grab the wheels, go to properties, and make it 50 RPM. Okay, so now we can turn. We can get all of this. So the furniture is supposed to stay in these boxes, I think. Ah. Let's see, this is where the challenge comes in. <laughs> the vacuum's really strong! <laughs> okay. Okay. The, I... I <laughs> I know I set it to max, but... Okay, it's really strong. Okay. Maybe this doesn't have to be on power 10. Let's set this to power 5. Uh, but then we do need, like... We can't just have vacuums on the front. Because then it would block the dust from going into this catchment zone. But, hmm... Powered. Can I fit? How do I get a... If I extend this out by one... Can this sit here? It can. Can we just load this up? Oh wait, they need to start on. Let's try this. We now got... Are they too powerful? Oh, the dust is a certain weight. So we just need to calibrate it so that it picks up the dust, but not the other things. It says, don't wake the sleeping human. I don't know how to not wake them up. Maybe it's a quantity of vacuum cleaners. Oh, 
Okay, this works pretty good. What is this thing? Why is it so light? Give me a dust. Maybe I need to get these things on um, a button, but no, no, it's fine. Is that dust on the table? Oh, no. Okay, fine. I think I have to explore around to find all the dust. Yeah, there's some high up dust. Don't move the furniture too far. How do I move? The shoes? So there's 50 units of dust. There's dust high up. Oh no, okay. We're going to need my favorite thing. Piston. I have it on the front. We will keep it slow. Don't start on. Um, return to origin. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, if I go to controls, I can have a button for the piston. Move out. Move in. So this is I and K. Right. I need this to be longer, I think. Right, the length of the piston. Oh, it just returns to origin, so I don't need to press down. I just need to press up. Okay. And then... I put a block on this. To host the... The vacuum. Powered. Put a vacuum right there. It's gotta be on. I, sh uh, I should probably have this on a button, right? If I go here. J. Vacuum 4. Toggle on off. So I can now go I and do do a manual suck like that. <laughs> this might work. This might work. Let's go straight for the tall ones and see if we can actually do it. Let's see. Not sure if we Okay, that works. <laughs> Sorry, it woke you up. So I need to extend. J. Yep, that works. <laughs> There's dust under the bed. Just wanna grab those. Okay. The bunny slippers are blocking the vacuums! Oh no! <laughs> I need to put them on toggle. Okay, I need to put them on toggle. The, the bunny slippers just... Okay, fine. Um, so, what do I have here? J, is it? It's, I need to set... J to toggle all the things on and off. And then I should change these to not start on. So they'll be... We'll manually... Control. I think I can... Drop these powers to maybe two. They feel a bit strong. Let's try that. J. Okay, nice, nice. Let's try this. Okay, good. Good. Oh, missed a bit. This guy looks so happy. I'm not gonna make the joke. You make the joke for me. 
Okay, I moved the furniture because the pillow. Whatever. Let, let's just try get all the dust first. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I see. We need... <laughs> we need separate buttons for the... The upstairs and downstairs vacuum cleaner. Okay. This should at least allow us to grab all of the dust, right? Yes. Okay, good. It's already awake. It's fine. Get the dust from down there. Stuck. Okay. I think that one we get from the other side. We grab that. Yes. Okay. I think we can get all the dust. Ah no, wait, there's there's one at the top of the bookshelf. We might need the taller thing. Definitely need a taller thing. Ah, we need a taller thing. Okay. So to do that, we just need to extend this to be long. This will have this set to power two. We will have this on the top. And I don't know if I can... Can I attach something to here? So I can have two along here have this as power two as well right and then i should actually you know, go to controls uh we have the yeah disable this j will be for the lower vacuums and l will be for the upper vacuums J. No, that's not right. It should be on L. J. Oh. J. L. Extend. It's pretty high. Okay. This should work pretty well. Let me try to do my controls here. Sorry, that's not connected. There we go. Okay, okay. We got this. So J gets the lower ones. Let's just go straight for that tall one. Might be able to get rid of the vacuum pointing down. Yeah, but... So this one is L. I want to extend. Got it. And then this... Allows medium. Okay, that works nicely. Let's go over here and grab this. Okay, I don't know if I can... Don't topple over. How do I get that? Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> that thing's so fragile! It's fine. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's fine. Let's get dust under the bed. Can't quite reach that one. That's fine. Okay. Okay, good. Uh... Turn that off, turn this on. Turn that off. Okay. Slippers don't block our suction anymore. It's fine, good. We're moving a little slower because we're so heavy now. But I think the stability is good. L. No, I just want the dust. Fine. J. Got it. There's one more bit under the bed. 
for a couple bits. I think we got them. Good. So outside of that vase, pretty good. Oh, there's some on top there? Okay, I think I can get it. Yes! We are tall enough. Okay, good. Left one behind. That's why we have... ...that. Good. So then I think it's just the dust over on this side. I think this is all that's left. No, that's not all that's left. What's left? Oh, there's a bit on that corner of the table there. That might be the last bit. No, there's one more. I've missed one bit of dust. Is it in the vase? Oh, it is in the vase. Because the vase was gray. Got it! He's very upset though. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> we didn't do the bonus objectives, but we did do the necessary objectives. So that's good. <sighs> Complete. Now, if we could do this without breaking the vase, we could get it, but... The Suckatron 9000. <laughs> well, put that one for sale. Good. Ah, uh, that, that should... Do we have enough? We can go to the next section as well. Right, this is where... I think I unlocked telescoping pistons there. My favorite thing. Wood and chips. Robo coffee. All right, we can, we can do these two. Let's try wooden chips. Cut the trees and load them onto the truck. Cut the trees. Remove branches before cutting trees. Keep cut trees in the target zone. Let's just cut the trees and load them onto the truck. See what we can do. See what we can do. Cutting. I've never cut anything in this game before. Okay. What do we have that's... What do we use to cut? Be cosmetic. Mechanical? Saws. I see. How huge is a huge saw? That seems the appropriate size for these trees. So we have saws. So you want to be able to saw the tree and then load them onto the truck. Okay, let, let's just get to the sawing first. Let's do basics. Let's start with... Start with a base. Let's uh, give them proper wheels. Just make sure they're aligned. Nope, that's that, that, and then we need to, we're supposed to cut it at a certain height, I think. So let us 
Oh, this is going to need my oscillation, isn't it? So let's go to powered. Let's go to the telescoping piston. We need this a certain height. And then this thing, we want to rotate it like that. This I want to start on. Is that too... Might be too high. Let's just extend it like that for now. And then we need to have... I can have this on the side. And then this attached like that. Nope. Like that. Like This thing should be oscillating at... Five, is that too much? This should work, right? We need more stability. Die tree! Oh, wait, we can correct ourselves. Does this work? Okay, this, this kind of works. You know, coming into this game, I didn't think I would enjoy oscillating pistons quite so much. <laughs> okay, so we can do that. We can cut the trees. How do we get them onto the truck? Okay, we gotta... I don't think we have a claw that's big enough to pick it up, right? Like, this powered claw is not that big. I could try vacuum them onto the truck, I guess. Or I need, like, a scooper to lift it up. I mean, with pistons and hinges, you could technically make a giant claw, can't you? But yeah, this needs to be activated on a button. Let's set you to O. No, there's nothing to toggle the oscillation. If it's oscillate and return to origin, what happens? No, it just oscillates. Is there a way to put away the saw when we're done with it? If I maybe... There's some hinges. Uh, mechanical? No, not mechanical. Uh, joints. Ball and socket bearing hinge. Can I, like, maybe... The hinge is so small. We don't really have a lot of, uh... Parts. Hmm. Like, we've, we've only got very small hinges. Could I perhaps... Can these be... No, they're not a motor. The hinge would have to be on... a motor of some kind. And let, let's test a vacuum. And just see how powerful... it is. If I put a vacuum right there. I return this onto there. Okay. And we make sure this is maximum. Oh, so this can blow. Oh. Let's see if 10 vacuum is powerful enough. Mm. 
Let's go around. Okay. <laughs> We've got super powerful vacuum, which is set to blow. I just want to see if the vacuum is powerful enough to move the, the trunks. No, the vacuum is not. But it's not that heavy if you push it. Oh, we, we just need to lift it up a little bit. I see. But also... I gotta stop this saw. I mean, I, I can almost get it on there. Okay, okay. Vacuum doesn't work. But what we can do is we, we just need a... Is there a, a ramp of some kind? There are ramps. Smooth wedge. Like this sort of thing. It's kind of a scoop. I can scale this. Just need to rotate it. Like that. So we have a... So we have a scoopy front. Then we just need to lift it up, right? If I wanted lift it up. Like I want it like much further forward so we avoid our saw. But if it's much further forward. We need our piston to manually control this. Not like that. So we have the piston. But then how do we lift? So this piston will be... And we'll just set it to I. No, toggle out. So just make sure... Hold on. Uh, I and K. Make sure this thing doesn't start on. Okay. Needs to be a little bit further out. Maybe not that far out. But also, we can make this bigger, right? If only there's a... I'm not experienced with motors, but let's, let's just try this first. I want to see how physically it works. Okay. Let's chop this tree. just need to lift. Right? Pushing them is fine. Yeah, this is this is strong enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the extension is to to stop the uh, the saw. But also how are we supposed which which direction are we supposed to load the logs on? Do they go on from this side? 
How do they go in from... Do you slide them in from the side? Because if they're from this side... I see why you... Oh, yeah. So it is supposed to load in from the back if you want to do that challenge. But that means I assume it's easier to load them in from this side, right? Can't fit through here. Right. Okay. 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 How do I lift? So on the end of this... Servo motors. DC motors. I'm not in... Oh, this rotates like that. This... yeah, okay, so these rotate. So if they rotate... Do we have gears? Joints, structural... Basics. So you want to put a rod in to this. So this thing rotates like that. How do we convert rotation? Oh, there are power joints already in the constructs. Let's use that. Um, hinge. Hinge large, hinge huge. Is this... Oh, that is huge. Um, let's try... Is that... Is this the correct way? Can't quite tell which way this hinge goes. Let me just have a look at this hinge uh, button. J. Toggle forward. Toggle reverse. Just want to see... Oh. It's not quite... That's not quite the direction I wanted to go. Spin motor, spin motors. Uh, it should be hinge, right? It just needs to face a different direction. Let's rotate it. Is it that way? Yes! Okay. So this thing, this properties, we can limit its angle so it doesn't I limited the other angle we want this to go up to like 90 we want to limit that right so you can do that and then we attach this to that and then we should be able to extend we're very front heavy and lift we probably don't want to lift that far <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. We can solve this problem. We want to limit this to like 40, I guess. But we don't get much height, do we? What we'll want to do, though, to balance out our weight. And yeah, that works. So this works. Powered hinge. J and L, I kind of want to reverse them. Yeah, that feels better. So now how do, how do we lift this up so I can extend this? Wait, can I put? <laughs> okay, that's how you. Can I drive like this? I can. 
Just to drag the butt around. <laughs> okay. 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 Let me see how this... Let me see how this manipulates the... The trunk, once it's down. Okay, that fell in a really weird spot, but that's fine. Let's go around. What is this? this I'm stuck on this thing. Oh no, I'm actually stuck. Okay, fine. Um, this is not so good. So I can... So this part works well. I just don't know how to raise it up. So if we extend, we want to... If we... So I group those, pull that off. I want to have maybe a... Uh, another powered piston attached to here, but can it be? Facing like that. Right? And then this attaches to there. And can I possibly fix this weight problem have a bit of a butt duplicate this rotate it around so that when have this here and have that on the same button, right? Okay. It's that way. <clears throat> Wait, I forgot about that. Okay, hold on. This one, do not start on, please. Okay. So now when I extend... Right, I need weight on that side as well. Okay. Um, so I just need to put some weight on the end of this. Basics, not block heavy. Let's make sure this is weighted so that when we extend the arm, we remain balanced. Need a bit more weight. Perfect. Perfect. And then I just need to bind you to this thing to toggle out so I can extend, raise, uh, and tilt this if required. <laughs> Retract. Oh no, no! Damn! Uh, no, okay, um... I don't have a button to bring that back down, so I should set that to O. This one, toggle in. So I can extend. Lift, lower, retract. Yes, okay. This is something that... may or may not work. This saw... I feel like I need a button to extend this saw. Is this bound to anything? No, maybe I can put it on, on left hand controls. So I'll put E to extend this thing and Q to retract it. All oh, right, because it's set to oscillating. Wait, I can't do that. Right, I can't do that. Wait, 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 wait. I need to be able to extend this dude, because right now this is all in the way. I need to be able to extend the saw. Uh, so actually, I'm gonna un 
you unbind enq this thing and this thing group i'll pull this off this thing i will duplicate i just need to have a bit more okay enq will be set to toggling this out toggling this in right and i need to make sure it, we are not having that control that so now i can extend the saw retract the stall extend the lifter raise the lift lower the lift retract that okay We've, we've got something that may or may not work. So, extend the saw. Retract the saw. We want to push this. the back of the truck okay we can do this we can do this okay this might be the furthest we've ever been just try position this okay now so to make sure that we can lift nope wrong button nope wrong button no, do that. Oh, is this too high now? I just realized. Um, I need to extend this. Oh, my scooper is too high. And why does... Um... I have so many buttons. No, that's not right. My scooper is too high. Ah, oh, so close. Ah, ah, ah. Drive forward, drive forward. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, that's the closest we've ever been. I forgot. By doing this, we've raised it up. Um, how do I... How do I keep this lower down? Ungroup this. I just need to do that, don't I? Right? And I assume that adds some weight, so let's just add some weight there. Let's make it taller. Okay. My bot's real janky, but <laughs> this might work. This might work. Let me just check. Extend. You can lift. Retract. Pull it back. Okay. Wait, uh, I'm supposed to extend the saw. Okay. Retract. Um, what's the key? Uh, retract the saw. Let's try push this into position. Okay. I think it needs to be slightly to the left. Okay, good. Let's try. Every time my scooper gets caught on things, it keeps triggering up and down. So I want to extend our scooper. We want to... I don't think it's... Oh, it went up. Okay. 
Get in there. You can extend the saw into the back of that to try and give it some extra force. No, that doesn't help. How do we load this in? <gasps> that counts! Okay. No, wrong button. Oh, you're not supposed to load from this side. I see. Yeah, it doesn't quite fit. Uh, well, that kind of does. Get in. Get in there. Get in there. Oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, so close. We're so close to this. All right. So we we just because mm, I've I've wedged myself in this thing. Also, my my tilter on my scooper keeps moving by itself when it knocks into things. Yeah, I've wedged myself in there, and my if I oh 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 wait no we're we're good to go. Um, I forgot to lower. I have way too many keys. That's not the right key. Hold on. <laughs> How do I... Which which is the key to lower this? Okay. That's the key to lower that. Okay, good. That's the key to lower that. <laughs> okay. Now we need to cut down the other tree. Uh, which means we need to extend our cutter. Which is... No. Not that. It is... No, not that, not that, not that, not that. This one, okay. I don't know really what determines which direction it falls in. It sort of falls a little counterintuitively. Okay, so let's retract that. We got, a, we got stuck on that stick last time. Let's push this carefully this way. Okay. Okay. Bring that up to the truck. And then we need to... Manipulate this a little bit. Can't quite. Push it up against that thing. Let's attract this. I've caught a branch, it's fine. I don't suppose I'm allowed to cut these into smaller pieces. can't get under it. Trying to figure out... If I extend this... Okay. Lower that. Get under it. Lift. My lift is not very strong. Oh, wait, no, hold on. It's this key, right? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> I've actually picked it up. Now, we've already left the white border, so maybe this... I don't know, it doesn't have to be, like, fully in there, does it? Let's just create some space. Let's try slide it in the back. Yep, yep, it's fine. Uh, let's lower that. Okay, don't roll too far. Let's pull this back. Let's go push it up. Push it up against the truck. Avoid that. What is that? A fishing rod? Got stuck on that last time because we're so close to the ground. Okay. 
I don't know how to turn off the saw, okay? We're just a bit of a murder machine. No, 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 no. Push it. Back the other way. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Slide this up against the truck. Nice and easy. Okay. It's kind of in position. Move it slightly to the left. Okay. Is this what it's like being forklift certified? <laughs> okay, let's back up. Let's lower the scoop. Extend the arm. Try and center a little bit. Scoop into underneath. What's the button to you? Okay. Lower. Scoop. Nope. Not quite scooping under properly. It's because I'm up against this. Okay, good. U lifts. Now as I back out, it should push and lift. Come on, lift it up. You can do it. Come on, we got the other one up there. Yes! <laughs> now just hold it in place. <laughs> I can't believe I actually did it. I can't believe that actually worked. Look, it's totally loaded in. Okay, complete. Oh. The cut and lift. This machine costs almost $9,000 and took 12 minutes to lift two logs. Pack it away. <laughs> the weak lifter, it's like... <laughs> Let, let's try Robo Coffee. Let's try Robo Coffee. Get a coffee to the construction workers upstairs. Deliver a full cup of coffee with cream. Don't break the caution tape. Okay, let's let's just try get the coffee upstairs and see what happens. All right, we all could do with a cup of coffee. Burbeke, thank you so much. Ooh. Look at that cake. Ooh, I could do with some cake. So the coffee is constantly flowing. Okay, okay, so can we actually go have a look? What are we dealing with? So there's the mugs. We gotta grab a cup of coffee and then we gotta bring it upstairs. It says don't break the caution tape, but there's caution tape right there. How do you avoid breaking the caution tape? Oh, you just lift it up from here. I see. You lift it up from the ground floor. Okay, that's piston work. I like piston work. We're gonna need a claw grabber thing to hold the cup of coffee. That's gonna be the, the tough part, I think. Oh. Let's, let's get to building. Hold on. I have... I have gone out of bounds, I think. Hold on. Let me just restart this. Uh, return to challenge tag. I've gone out of bounds and I've placed something out of bounds and now I don't know where I am. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me just reload the level. Um, Robo coffee. Yeah, play. Okay, so we want to have a claw to grab the cup, fill with coffee, then piston up and then deliver it. 
Because I think driving up the ramp would spill the coffee anyway. Oh. Resume that. Okay. I think I'm kind of stuck out of bounds. Hold on. We can figure this out. <laughs> okay, you reset the camera by pressing home. It says right there. <laughs> I just flew out there and I couldn't get back in. There's a reset camera button. Of course there is. Okay, my bad. Okay, so we need, as usual, start with a base. Create a little cube. That's always a good start. We can have a pretty sturdy base on this one, I think. 12 by 12, 3. Okay. Then let's go ahead and get some... Let's put big wheels on it. But I will... Um, slow them down a little bit. I just want to be... Very stable here, right? I want to make sure I select all of those and set the RPM to 50, right? Make sure that drives okay. Are we too big to... Screw you! <laughs> Hey, doesn't matter if we fall over. Very resilient. Okay, so we need to grab the cup of coffee, fill it with coffee, bring it upstairs. Okay, so that means we need... Oh, how do we do this? We go here. We go to powered. We do the telescoping piston on the f on the front, which is here. I think it has to be like on the front front. Right. And this should be tall enough to Grab the cup of coffee. I should do a light block here. So I want this extending out a bit, right? Because this is going to be holding the claw, which is... You now there's a powered claw, powered pincer. For a cup, we'd want a pincer, right? But we want to make sure it's rotated the other way. Uh, rotate. Right, that makes sense. So on our controls, we have... I will be toggle out. K will be toggle in. J will be toggle on. No, wait. Turn on. L would be turn hold. Hold on. What is turn on? All right. Okay. That seems to work. So this needs to not start on. Oh, the claw fell off. Okay, so is this tall enough? Let's check height. It's actually too tall, I think. It's actually too tall. So we need to shorten this by a little bit. Okay. 
I could probably go one shorter. Also, I want to extend that out. This goes one shorter, this goes one. Okay. So this... Okay. I think we need a, a piston on this one. Um, so let me... I'll delete that. Let's grab another piston. Yeah, powered. Just a small piston, I think. Let's... Let's keep things a bit lighter. Don't want to be too top heavy here. We do that and then we can attach the claw onto that. And then for controls we have U and O. So for the small piston U is toggle in, O is toggle out. Needs to be a bit longer than that. Okay. Uh, let's try that. Right, that's my bad. Okay. Check distance to the table. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We can we can do that. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's retract, retract. Now is this tall enough to grab the coffee? I think this is too low. Get out of my way. Just run over this guy. Yeah, this is too low. Like, I don't think I can micro this. What's my controls for? Oh, that's not right. Oh, no. Come back down, come back down. Open the claw. Bye. <laughs> okay. Okay, that... No, that doesn't quite... Let me just do this, do this, come back down, come back down. Give me a cup that's standing up, preferably. We're just a little bit too short for this. Give me a cup, give me a cup. Come on, grab the cup. Grab the cup. <laughs> no, 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 come on. Okay. No. Okay, fine. Hold on. Okay. I grab a cup. Okay. I gotta fill the cup with coffee. I gotta micro this arm. Damn it! <laughs> I need to fix this arm length issue, but too short. <laughs> Cups can break. Um, okay, but if I extend this, we just need to be a little bit higher on this. But I also don't want to be too high because then we're we're too tall for the thing. So I, th I think if I just. If I raise that, can I group? I'm happy with these parts. Can I group these parts? Okay. Oops. This makes us slightly taller, but I think we're still too short for the counter. I'm just gonna check. 
Yeah, screw you, caution tape. No, this actually works. And if we extend up, what are we looking like up here? Can we still... Yeah, that sort of works. Okay, I think this actually works. Need a microcontroller? No, we're going heuristic. We're going mechanical. <laughs> I just wanted to... Can I grab you? Oh, I can choke him? <gasps> <laughs> oh, we can choke people! That That's a game changer. Also, this thing shouldn't start on. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we can, we can make kill robots. Hello, old man. If I just... Oh, the, the grip is, is like really good. Get out of my way. Okay, so now we want to grab a mug. Oh, but the coffee is slightly higher than the mugs. That makes it complicated. So we can... Grab this. We just need... Oh, we need to have a thing that, like, allows us to go slightly higher. Because... Uh, spamming kind of works. Spamming does not work. Okay, we need, we need something that just raises this slightly higher after we grab... We gotta grab the mug. Actually, this thing, this thing here, what do we, what is it set in? Move in, move out, toggle in, toggle out. What is it set to? It's, um, I and K, right? Let's set it to move in. Okay, that gives us manual control. Okay, perfect. It was on toggle. We can have it on manual control. Perfect, perfect. This should work. So now we drive over here. Dodge this dude. We want to grab the cup of coffee. So let's extend that. Snatch a cup of coffee. Raise a little bit. Fill with coffee. We've got a nice cup of coffee. We're delivering to that guy over there. So we need to drive back through the caution tape. Because we're not supposed to break the caution tape. And we should be able to just smash through here a little bit. Uh, we want to... Oh, what are my controls? Retract that. So we can go... We don't want to smash the cup of coffee. Then we want to extend this all the way up. Okay, then we want to... What's the button? Oh? Can it not really reach? <gasps> I wasn't a full cup of coffee! 
Oh, with cream. Wait, where's cream? How do we get cream on it? Oh, never mind. I delivered a cup of coffee. <laughs> yes. Oh, I like piston-based challenges. Look how close that is to the edge. This is, this is how you trigger anxiety in people. Like you place coffee mugs like that right on the edge. Just leave it right there. The white cartons. Oh, so you have to like pick up the white carton and then like pour. Oh, right. So you actually have to mix ingredients like that. Right. It was a full cup of coffee, but it didn't have cream in it. Uh, but no, I think I spilled some right at the end there. But there we go. We delivered a cup of coffee without breaking caution tape. That's pretty good. The Reacher Grabber. Oh, we're one point away from unlocking this next section, I think. Oh, wait, no. It was 27, not 28. Freights in high places and soda me. Oh, we got gears. That's what I wanted from before. Because we got the thing that, that turns, right? If we had gears, then you can make things turn in any direction you like. I didn't have gears before. We just unlocked gears. Ah. Okay. So that's basically the first one, two, three, four, five missions here. And I think that's a pretty good look at RoboCo. RoboCo, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. By the way, please do check out this game. The One of the things that I was really interested in when it came to the sponsor, when it, they approached me, I looked up, I looked up who, who are the developers, because I didn't know who they were. They're sort of new to releasing games on Steam, but they've actually been working a lot on gamification of education and of life skills, which is actually, it's, when I was a teacher, for those of you who don't know, I was a school teacher. I, I focused on gamification of education. My final project was literally a digital textbook. <laughs> like I took a, a form five, which is a grade, 11 science textbook and I digitized it and I made an app and I tried to gamify information search and retrieval skills, which is how to Google, <laughs> right? Which is actually a skill. You, you'll you be surprised. People don't know how to Google. Maybe you're not so surprised. So I actually focused on gamification of education, but this was like 10, 12 years ago. And gamification of stuff was sort of a thing back then, but it was a trend, but it wasn't executed very well. So when I looked up this company, they actually do a lot of these kind of... what When I say educational video games, it, it strikes fear in your heart, doesn't it? <laughs> right? Educational video games. Oh no! We all remember them from the 90s, don't we? They were not good. They basically just attach a score to some math problems or grammar questions, right? They, they were real boring. But stuff like this, right? You notice how the, the tutorials show like center of gravity and you know how, how gears work, how pistons work, right? This is the sort of kind of game that is actually fun and it actually teaches you stuff, right? And that's why I was sort of attracted to this and I want to thank so much to Roboco for sponsoring this because they're doing what I was doing 12 years ago, 10 years ago, 10, 10 to 12 years ago, a decade ago, before I started this YouTube channel. You know, if I stayed in that career path, I would have been doing stuff like this, you know, educational interactive media that's based around games, you know? So I was just like, oh wow, this, like if I stayed in that career, I would have ended up making things like Roboco, <laughs> right? And I, I was just sort of really fascinated by that. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like I'm, I'm just on the other side now. Anyway, please do check out Roboco simulators. Very good if you're into games like Kerbal Space Program or Besieged or 
there's a lot of them, aren't there? But this one's fun. This one's cool. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's out now. Um, check it out on Steam. There's a link to the Steam store page down below, but it's not a referral link or anything. Just go check it out. If you want to help the channel, wishlist the game, buy it if you like it. Cool, cool. All right, that has been our look at Roboco. Uh, just as a bonus point, they're also going to be adding VR to this next year, so you can build your robots in first person in VR, which I think is pretty cool. But I don't have a headset, so I can't show that off. <laughs> all right, thank you all so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.